We have a problem. I crossed from Colombia into Ecuador yesterday, which means I need to get a new cell phone plan. Unfortunately, my debit card stopped working, so I need to call my bank, but I can't call my bank until I buy a cell phone plan, and I can't buy a cell phone plan until I have some way of paying for it. I literally have $3. $3 is maybe enough to get breakfast, but my mission this morning is to find somebody that will let me borrow their phone to call my bank in the US get my motorcycle from the parking lot, which I also have to pay for. So I'm kind of stuck <laughs> until I find somebody that lets me use their phone. Wish me luck. Things just got worse. <laughs> I was able to call the bank from the phone at the reception and I realized it's Sunday. And Sunday, my bank is completely closed. Okay, I have no clue what just happened. But it, I got 50 bucks out of this one. I got money for today, for right now, I'm happy. Okay, not even 10 minutes later, I already have cell phone service. But yeah, I have internet, I've got a little bit of cash. I think I'm ready to go to Quito. Okay, for breakfast I have a little cheese sandwich, some uh, scrambled eggs, pineapple juice, and a mocha. Yum. I had my own room last night. What beautiful countryside. Today is only about an hour and a half, and it's all gonna be on paved highway, like this. We're gonna get to Quito today. So, yeah, anyway, I got some money. So then I went and got cell service, which worked when she tested it in the store, but then uh, has not worked since. I tried going back and the guy couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. So that's frustrating. The other thing that was frustrating this morning is that I discovered that my dry bag from Adventure Bags in Bogota, um, I, I knew they I knew they had some problems because the small ones up front, uh, I had one break, I had some stitching come out on me just when I was mounting it to my bike on the very first day of my trip. So I knew that they had some weak spots and I've been gentle with them. But my big bag in the back, after yesterday's bumpy gravel roads, yeah, I think three of the four straps where they attach to the, the bag are being torn off. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to pull coins out of my bag here. Hola, como esta? So yeah, thankfully I, ha I still have my straps that I was using to strap on my, my uh, backpack onto the back of the motorcycle. So I've got those on there as well because I don't trust the, the straps that are on it. But just kind of a, just kind of a rough morning. Beautiful though, really, really gorgeous scenery here in Ecuador. It would appear that we are coming into Quito. Got some traffic. My maps say we still have about 40 minutes. <laughs> de Estados Unidos! Sí, pero la moto es de Guatemala. This motor is just as fast as mine, I think. But mine's geared differently. So I've got 300 cc's, he's got two, but his is geared more sporty than mine. Something like that. We're like, in the, we're perfectly, we're perfectly tied. I probably weigh a bit more than he does too, so. And I've got my stuff on here. But we're a perfect match. It's kind of a fun little race. <laughs> Oop, no, there's the police right in front of us though. <laughs> okay, we are almost there. 
turn right and then turn right. And then my destination is on the left. Turn right. That looks right. Okay, so unfortunately this is what's happening. You can see how it's like tearing off. Where it's where it's um sold into the bag. That one's alright. This one's like almost completely off. And this one is also just starting. So I had to put these two on. Which is fine, it's just annoying. Because I have to tie up these ends every time. Okay, I've checked into the secret garden. This place is awesome. There's my bike, Dumbo. 